Good evening, Mary Bell from the Netherlands. Hi. Hi. You represented your country back in 1984. You're celebrating the 30th anniversary this year. What, what are your best memories when you think back of Eurovision back then? Uh, I, uh, my best uh, memory was that it was very pure then in that day. So you had uh, a very big uh, orchestra and uh, everything was live. And it's yeah, that's that's different than now. Now they have uh, a band, a band, and uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. it, it's been 30 years now, and the time flies. It? And you see the evolution of Eurovision with no orchestra, you said, and uh, okay. the, the freedom of language. Do you think Eurovision has developed in a, in a positive way? For, uh, or, are you still following Eurovision, by the way? Every year. Yes. When I was eight, I was sitting under the table because uh, my parents uh, thought it was too late. And uh, yes, I, and I think, uh, of course, the Eurovision Song Contest is growing because uh, the time goes, it flies, and you must have something every year what is more uh, spectacular. Oh, which adapts maybe to the period. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that's, that, the period of 84 was so much different than now. Mm. And that's good. But how was the competition back then uh, in 84? Did you have to fly in like nowadays a couple of days earlier? Were there many rehearsals with the orchestra? Yeah. A week uh, before uh, you went there and then every day you can't, could uh, rehearsal because yeah, then you could uh, feel yourself uh, nice on the stage. And uh, yeah, it, it was very nice. Uh, your family is coming and uh, yeah, and, and also the nerves. You, you don't you have no nerves because uh, it's growing with you in the week and your song and with the orchestra and yeah I was not nervous I, I was thinking uh, there are watching 350 million people for my song so I must not <laughs> do this or uh, yeah, but I liked it very much, yeah. Of course, I'm very interested because I myself, I am from Luxembourg. How, how were you treated by my country? Perfect, we were staying in Holiday Inn and uh, everything was all right. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not so very, I'm easy. And, and how were you received by the Dutch audience when you came back to the Netherlands? Uh, uh, the strange thing was that uh, the song in Kauvia was uh, a little bit uh, negative in the picture because uh, yeah, they thought yeah, she did not win and uh, win. And but after a few years, two or three years, it, it was not normal. The song, everybody said the song is so. And I said okay, it's uh, three years ago or four. And but other people, all other singers. Gordon and other singers uh, from Belgium, Dana Winner and all of the world, they were singing that song too. Okay. So yeah, and it was in the picture. Have, have, you have, you, have you been in touch with any of the other artists who took part in it? Still today? Are you still in touch with? No, not today, but uh, I know them and uh, it was very nice because they found me, it's good that we do this and this like this with the song and uh, yeah, very nice. I heard that the song was even translated in several languages. Yeah, German, French, German. and English. Um, and you would still remember the lyrics if you had to sing it, for example, in German yeah, tonight. Yeah, but then, uh, tonight? No, suppose if they, they said, Maribel, you have to sing it in German. Would now? You? Yes, would you? No. <laughs> no, no, no we are not asking you. No, just but I'm, I must look one time at the okay. lyrics and okay. then I remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what has Eurovision brought to your career later on? Uh, at that time, yes. I was uh, singing in the rock and roll band for 12 years. And I said I want to do the Eurovision Song Contest with a man who was writing the song, so I did that. And I was staying in the band. And in 1990, then I was going solo okay. for myself. Okay. And that was very, yeah, good. And are you still performing today? Yes. yes, I was singing uh, tonight. Okay, yeah. I heard you were living in Spain. Yeah, Ibiza. Oh, you live in Ibiza? Yeah. Oh, how amazing is that? <laughs> well, why, nice. why did you emigrate to Spain? Uh, my husband was living in Madrid for uh, 10 years or 12 years and uh, he wanted to go to Spain, so I said, that's good, but we go to Ibiza. Oh. And he said, that's good. So do you sing in Spanish? Yeah, tonight, once oh, <laughs> <laughs> more.
amazing. So, so in, it's in Ibiza, you have a, a job there as a singer, or uh, no? Uh, uh, I live uh, on a very big land, nine and a half hectare, and uh, I have a few houses in the forest, in the woods, and I hire that on. I rent it on people who come on vacation. Wow, that's very good. Like that's right. And in the evening, you entertain them with your songs. If they want, I did that for a few hours. Excellent. Uh, would you do the whole Eurovision Song Contest again? No. Why not? No. So, some things you must do once in your life. And I, I, it was such a beautiful song. And with the Ogres, London's Philharmonic Orchestra, they, yeah, that uh, you cannot do that uh, because, yeah, I don't want that. Let the young people uh, You're now living in Spain. Uh, don't you miss the Netherlands? No. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, like the blue sky in Spain. It's a different uh, way of living. It's uh, yeah, more human. People uh, in Holland and also Germany and other countries. It's very quick and people are thinking other others. Okay. So when, when we uh, would want to come to Ibiza, what is the place to look for to rent an apartment with you? To go uh, to visit yeah. me. You have a website? <laughs> what do you say? You have a website for your yes, renting yes, homes? Yes, yes, Beach, uh, and then you come with me. <laughs> and you see me on the pictures. And then we can rent a place with yeah. you. Okay. You will see Super. many Eurovision fans will probably come this summer. <laughs> No. Yeah, I like that. It's very good. I yeah, I I had to, uh, I I like to do that to do things with people, and uh, yeah, when people go on holiday, they are glad and happy. That's good. And they come with me, and that's uh, very nice to do. I, I I was wondering how did the organizers of Eurovision in concert get in touch with you uh, to come here? Why why did they pick you? Uh, my producer hired two producers, Peter van Asten, Richard Dubois. And they uh, uh, and I did some things with them with the band, and then uh, they said uh, we want to do the song festival with you sing. And in '81 I did two uh, with two songs, but I had two good songs, so I was second and third. Okay. Oh, wow. And in for '84 then I had one good song and the other song. Fantastic. Maribel. Yes, um, tomorrow 25 countries will uh, perform their song the for, for, yes, for Copenhagen. Have you heard the Dutch song? And if so, what, what is your opinion about the act? Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's uh, the Ilse Lange and Waylon, they are very good. I, I think that it's uh, not a song who is very uh, uh, in the middle of a song festival because yeah, I think the style is not, but maybe I'm wrong, mm -hmm. and maybe you must hear it six or seven times and you think it's very beautiful. It's beautiful yeah. because it's two very good uh, musicians, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't think mm -hmm. that it's... Uh, the, ne the Netherlands have not won since 75. Do you think that uh, they should actually uh, change the, the way of selecting the song? or? Or, or, or what would be your recommendation in order to win this competition? Uh, maybe they uh, uh, they had to do uh, Ilse de Lange and Whalen, but uh, let us choose uh, about five or six songs. Then you have different songs, and then you see of the people what they like. Mm. Well, yeah. All the very best of luck for your Thank career. Thank you very much. All the best in Ibiza as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mariba. Okay.